We're gonna go now invade Andross's space base on this meteor. Be sure to use your retros if you're going too fast. They give you this advice now instead of the other stage where they tell you to use your retro yeah. on the edge cord. Be careful with my R wings. Hey, I paid for these. That, yeah, it, a little weird detail. In the original Star Fox, the R wings belong to General Pepper. They That's... they're not part of Star Fox. <laughs> these things are all loan. <laughs> <laughs> You you wreck my R wing. That's fifty thousand yen in, in if your pocket. There's a scratch on the R wing. There's a scratch on your ass. <laughs> you break a wing, I break your balls. <laughs> <laughs> so the next stage, ladies and gentlemen, is Meteor. Apparently, Andros has built a base here. There's a jellyfish over there. This is this is the part where they want you to use your retros. Because these things come at you so fast. This game uses technical limitations to its advantage. Yes. You know, like, pop-up. No, that's a challenge. <laughs> it's, it's not a... Oh! <laughs> Look at it's, the draw distance. Yeah. No, no, the limited draw distance is a challenge. I swear to God. <laughs> Use it's, your retros. It's intentional. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, we, we meant it. That's the most dangerous part of the stage, though, is that shit coming out of nowhere. Because the enemies, they don't really give you too much shit, especially now that I got level 3 twin blasters. What is that? Is that a helicopter? That's I a think so. It's a drone. It's a space helicopter. <laughs> yeah, it's an Amazon Prime drone. <laughs> <laughs> that just shot someone's weekly delivery. I'm a dick. <laughs> <laughs> no! My new hard drive! <laughs> like, uh, with the draw distance, you say being a challenge. It's like someone selling furniture. It's like... It's like, I'm telling you, like, it's like a furniture salesman telling you, hey, you're telling me all this is good. How do I know you're being for real? That's all right. Check out this 1992 Saturn SL. There's a bad motherfucker right here. It only has 82,000 miles on the bitch. It run good, AC good, everything good. But now how are you wondering, how do you know? Bitch, it's my car. <laughs> I'll take seven. <laughs> I'm gonna kiss my ass with this shit. <laughs> oh, sometimes you may get things like, okay, thank you, Falco. Yeah. Ooh. Thank you. Just, just shoot it. Just I shoot really it. it. Yeah, you know, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, you can run, but you can't hide. Did he wonder... say? Did he say that in '64? Yeah, he did say that. The thing is that I shot at Justice Falco was saying that, so he didn't ridicule me for shooting it ahead of time. But fuck them. <laughs> That's the only time in the game they actually help is during scripted sequences. <laughs> during scripted sequences, and when the frame rate's higher, not frame rate. Jesus yeah, yeah, it's Christ, frame rate. Everybody's in danger at this stage. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You ass. All oh, the Amazon Prime delivery drones. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's one of them I ordered. <laughs> oh, look at the spider from Wild Wild West. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got to shoot it down on principle alone. <laughs> the, the, the name of this guy eludes me all the time. I just know that it's it's just like a daddy long legs. <laughs> So you shoot the legs, and eventually it'll get on its uh, its belly and start spinning like crazy. Pay attention to it because this is the part where you want to adjust altitude accordingly. I think he's going up. Yeah. Ah shit! Ah, hey, better the front than my wings. Yeah. I'd rather take damage in the front than my wings because losing the wings in this game or in Star Fox 64 is like so painful because <laughs> your ship loses maneuverability when it happens, and your lasers go immediately to level one. And nobody's having a good time. But now we're pretty much at phase two of the fight. It now has a flamethrower attack. Now tell me. Uh, it's, how does oh, it shoot God. How does it shoot fire in space? These are the serious questions that I expect to be answered. Oh! I, I, was trying to come up with, I was trying to come up with an answer, but then I, just, I, I couldn't think of it. <laughs> I was going to say, like, it, what, what is it, projectile fire? Yeah, it's projectile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it's dead. We won. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that, Fox! You piece of shit! My R wings! Mine! <laughs> yeah, uh, it wasn't until Star Fox 64 that made the R wings just part of Team Star Fox. You know, it's their ships. Because it, it's really weird because if they're, if they're a band of mercenaries. How do you hire them? How do you not have your own ships if you're if you're being hired for, you know, outside duties? Because they're not part of the Cornarian army. <laughs> um, we're the space mercenary Star Fox. Great. When can you start? As soon as you give us some ships. 
Uh, I feel this is wrong. <laughs> Venom, the final goal. Andros is hiding on Venom. I knew it. Fox, <laughs> you must just, you, just shoot shit. Yeah, you're very dyslexic. Yeah. You need to make sure you get that checked. All right, folks. Final stage of level one is Venom. Well, spoiler warning, the final stage in every route is Venom. <laughs> but depending on the route, will determine what exactly you're doing. Level one Venom, part one, because, uh, yeah, this stage is broken up into two stages. You're shooting a lot of shit on the uh, horizon of the planet. It's pretty epic. Um, I for is, is, you're, you stop shooting Peppy! No. <laughs> well, I forgot to ask you, were you, have you actually watched that Star Fox um, short film? Which one? The recent anime one? I don't think I have, no. What? Does it relate to like Star Fox Zero or something I like that? think it was? Well, because I'm going to do all that research when it's appropriate, probably when Star Fox Zero. Yeah. Like on the Star Fox Zero review. Are you going to do Star Fox Guard too? Yeah. kind of have to. <laughs> Yeah, the name of the game here is simple, folks. You see it, you see it. If something moves, you shoot it. Yeah. And that's all you got to worry about. Now, level three Andross part one is very similar, but they throw way more enemies at you. And they're all super aggressive. And they shoot more of the uh, electrical orbs of death <laughs> that usually does not forebode good things. Um, through the different levels, does Venom change? Yes. Uh... Oh, you see that type of enemy right there that I just shot? Yeah. Most of the time, they're the ones that give you twin blaster upgrades. Uh-huh. Now, they won't drop anything if you already have max twin blasters, but the moment you see that type of enemy there, shoot the fuck out of it, because it's going to give you a twin blaster. There's also a different type of enemy. I think it's like the yellow variety of that one. They will always give you a shield. <laughs> when, when, you heard, when you heard everyone, like, quote-unquote, talking for the first time in here... Did you think, like, did you imagine them saying it in their tone of voice that they had in here? Like their, like their, like, um, their pitch, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, when I went to Star Fox 64, or at least when I was first exposed to Star Fox 64, because I was exposed to 64 way before I played it for myself, you know, and I heard the English voice acting for Peppy, Slippy, and Falco, and I remember the SNES voice clips... And I thought, Falco should sound deeper, because, <laughs> you know, his, his, his tone in this game is, like, soprano. Or, no, soprano's a female singer. Tenor. Yeah, tenor. And, uh, it, it's not, a, not what I would say what my ideal Star Fox cast would sound like. But I'm so used to the Star Fox 64 voices yeah. that I won't have it any other way. Although I don't mind any other attempts, to be honest. Like, Assault has good voice acting, I think. But uh, we'll oh, get more on that shit. later. So our boss of Venom Part 1 is Fantron. And uh, its gimmick is dying really easily. Oh, fuck. I disappointed my father! <laughs> uh, but it didn't explode. What the shit? It doesn't play by conventional video game rules. <laughs> it says, you know what? Nothing says I have to explode when I die. <laughs> this is a, my only way back home. It's a nonconformist. Yeah, it's a die, you fucking hippie. <laughs> oh, 100. Gotta go chase it down and shoot it in the face again. Yeah, that was Fantron. Its, it's gimmick is that it splits into three and you gotta find the real one, otherwise you're not damaging it. Huh. It's, yeah. that, it's that theme in Melee. Yeah, it's the Melee main theme. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, Venom Part 2. The music is was remixed for Melee. I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people know it more for Melee yes. <laughs> than the actual game it originated from. <laughs> uh, but yeah, great music. It's very epic because now we're now we're inside Planet Venom. Uh, you know those claws look like it was from Final Fantasy VI. Which one? Uh, the final boss. The oh, the oh yeah, the yeah the, the the clouds. I don't know whether or not this place has some mostly cloudy, you know, on on the horizon, or it's because of pollution and shit. That's a pretty <laughs> epic looking clouds in the back. Like it's, it's like it's in Final Fantasy VI, like I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, yeah, like uh, Kafka's final boss. Yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, we want to shoot this there so that we can cause it to flip to the other side, so that we can get that Nova bomb there. Make sure you know which direction it's pointing at, because if you're looking at the wrong way, uh, you're going right into the damn thing. <laughs> and uh, it hurts. Like, running into a building or solid object in Star Fox is crunchy. <laughs> very, very crunchy. Well, that's a way to put it. I swear these R-Wings have no guns built into them. 
<laughs> Except mine. I'm the hero. Oh, look, 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 a rare occurrence just happened there, folks. The barrel roll actually worked. <laughs> and I was able to maneuver past these. Ugh! You see, that's what it does. It reflects the projectiles away. When it works. Oh, oh I'm actually getting really lucky with these projectiles. I'm suspicious. Don't jinx it now. These harmless little uh, things. Oh, they're not harmless. <laughs> Uh, it's okay. Maybe they're friendly. Yeah. <laughs> not, oh, friendly. not friendly. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I wonder if I'm close to a boss. Uh, it's too <laughs> because hard because it just gave me a checkpoint ring it's and two silver rings next to it. It's too hard to tell. Silver rings are pretty much the second tier supply ring. They restore at least half of your health. Gold supply rings. Ah. Gold supply rings only heal about a quarter, I think. Wait. Did he say crappers? What? No, twin blasters. Oh. Twin crappers. This arm wing is equipped with top of the line crappers. <laughs> twin crappers. <laughs> oh, Fantron's back. The fucking hippie. <laughs> Dude, it's done with a little rotten Starbucks, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, it still has this little. You know, I feel like I'm playing a game of like find the piece of paper inside the three plastic cups. <laughs> well, fuck your mini game. I'm just gonna shoot you all until you're done. Yeah. Now think about what you've done. You jerk! It, it looks like a, it looks like a piece of a, of a Gundam suit. Yeah. When origami strikes back. <laughs> oh, okay. It turns out it was just talking to me. Okay, when trees are tired of your shit. Yeah. This is Fantron's true form, and it's a spry little fucker because it jumps all over the place. And uh, what you need to do is shoot the blue fuck me light. But when it gets over here, when it gets far away. You want to adjust altitude. Go low, because it's going to try and jump on you. There. <laughs> Damn it! <Yeah. laughs> How'd it do that? Man, after this that, guy's evasive. Yeah, after that, the fight just repeats. Like, motherfucker. Uh -oh. I don't got time for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's pelvic thrusting, like, orbs. Yeah. <laughs> You can run, but you can't hide, to quote my dickheaded friend. Oh, fuck you, Fox. <laughs> <laughs> damn it! Oh, oh fuck. Shit! Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. God! Oh. Damn it! Hey, God's damned you quite enough. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Giant butt plug. <laughs> Into the butt plug. <laughs> Andros, <laughs> you never thought I'd find you in your secret butt plug, <laughs> dear Andros. <laughs> It's actually an ingenious hiding place because nobody would ever think to go there. <laughs> it's like if the male scientist went hiding hid inside the female restroom. Fox, you are indeed a worthy foe. But your foe is ever the futile. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's an old fuck. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think he is. Oh, <laughs> shit. That scared me. And I'm a tongue fuck. <laughs> oh, I'm a big tongue fuck. <laughs> oh, but did you go? And, you, and then you just hear Peppy just yelling at you in Spanish. <laughs> yeah, you're becoming more like your father, right? <laughs> you will always have no chance against... Oh, oh we're wait, back in the black on. hole. That was our wings in plural. I'm by myself, thank <laughs> yeah. you very much. Yeah, because my teammates are here for this fight. Oh, shit. Oh, this is... Alright, ladies and gentlemen, final boss of Route 1. Or, they're all all the routes. It's, it's always Andros. Is it crying? It is... It's... it's, it's, it's Cry square tears? Oh, it's also Kirby. It ate my Nova Bomb. <laughs> By the way, it doesn't do anything. You can't do anything during that phase. Andros attempts to suck you in, and then afterwards it shoots out a whole lot of geometry at you. <laughs> but you know, the funny thing is, if Andros just sucked in a little longer, he would have ate my Arwing. But he doesn't do that. He decides that, you know what, I had enough. There's enough in here. But you shoot the eyes fast enough. He's well, in the Phantom Zone? Yeah, he's in the Phantom Zone. Let's get him out of there. Okay, good. We got him out of there. <laughs> oh, actually, he was not in there at all. Shit. It was the wrong one. Yeah. Is there an origin of Andros? Like, why he's trying to go against Star Fox? Yeah. Let's explain that now at the end of level one. <laughs> well, the story of Far... Uh, I almost had a huge dyslexic moment there, and I was going to say Far Stocks. <laughs> Far stocks. stocks. 
The Did stocks. Did you ever want to invest in the stock market? The stocks. But They're it too was far. all the way over there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's far stocks. Anyway, because we have more than enough time to explain the plot of Star Fox. Essentially, Andros was once a scientist of the Quinarian army, and then he got bitten by the Mad Bug, as scientists are prone to do in these type of games, and he's threatened to <laughs> conquer the entire Lilat system. That's essentially Star Fox's solar system. So, okay, so he's been bitten by a Mad Bug. Well, no, I was more joking. He's just, oh, okay. he was an evil uh, scientist. He was a scientist that went nuts uh, and declared war on the whole Lilat system, and he threatens to take over planet Corneria as revenge against those who doubted his research and work. All that shit. You've you've heard that plot millions of times before, I'm sure. What but, a dick. Know, Star Fox, yeah, what a yeah, what a, what, a, what an asshole. <laughs> what a fucking butt mongrel. <laughs> you know? <laughs> But you see that you, you've heard that story millions of times. Star Fox is not deep in its lore or anything like it that. It really doesn't need to. It, yeah, it doesn't need to. Seventy-seven percent on stage six. I feel like that one A plus student that gets that A minus at the end of this <laughs> semester. Like Andros is just laughing at you. Like <laughs> eat a dick. <laughs> Oh, you're just average. Yeah, the average score is ninety-one okay. percent. I've always been an A minus student in Star Fox. Well, in this one anyway, Star Fox sixty-four. I'm more of a D average. <laughs> but uh, anyway, take it away. This is Corneria Pepper speaking. Congratulations on a job well done. Roger, I'm heading back to Corneria. Again, they have voice acting there, but they don't give your crewmates. Nope. You know. <laughs> Like, Roger, heading back to Crenaria. You know, it was like, Falco? I can't understand what you're saying. <laughs> you fucking... and, then, and then you're slippy. <laughs> <laughs> I never did get that translator fixed. <laughs> so when you finish the game, folks, you're giving a little, like, a... Uh, Statistics. Yeah, like a, like a little a credits roll. Like a boss roll call. Yeah. Of everything you fought in, on the level. Gives you the names of all these guys. And we're going to be seeing this at least two more times. <laughs> uh, because we're only done level one of Star Fox. But, uh, as I said before, level one is considered the easy route. It's the only time in the game, I think, unless you're a god in level three, where you can relish in twin blaster level three shields and making sure all of your teammates are up and about. Because starting with level two, that could very well be put to the test to an extent, but level three will really fuck you hard <laughs> if you're not prepared for it. With the with the butt plug. Yeah, with the yeah with Andros. <laughs> yeah, if you're wondering <laughs> what's going up your ass, it's Andros's main base, because yeah, you've seen it before. The dancing in sector. That's its. Oh, name. okay. Yeah, I, I I can never remember that one in particular because attack carrier, rock crusher. That's kind of easy to remember because they're so basic. But dancing in sector. Dancing in sector is very elegant. It's like a spider. <laughs> and Fantron I always remembered because I just like the name Fantron. It just sounds badass. Yeah. But, okay. That's it for the... Uh, once the uh, the roll call ends, we're going to get credits. But we're not going to watch the credits until we finish level three. Yeah. I think it's just more appropriate that way. With that said, folks, I hope you enjoyed the level one run through of uh, Star Fox on the SNES. We're going to take a small break. Then we're going to begin level two and see what else awaits us in the realm of Star Fox. In the meantime, see you guys then. Yep.